Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to add a sky for your Blender 4.0 3D animation software. You can see now I have a 360 degree skies and how to add this. And start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Alright, as demo, I'm going to just, just start a fresh new Blender 4.0 project like this. Alright, next we click here so that we can look at the render modes now by default you doesn't have any of a sky so to add a sky the first step what we need to do is just go to a website called hdri heavens All right we can just search randomly hdri heaven and press enter then click into the first link it is going to link into the HDRI heavens. It is under the polyheaven.com slash HDRI. This is the website. And then click all, click skies. You can just choose from here any of the sky that you want. Just for example, this. So I right click open in a new tab and I'm going to guide you step by step how to add the sky. So what you need to do is just click the triple line here, then download the 8k tone map all right or you can just choose the 4k and here you choose exr then 2k you can see different size as demo i'm going to just choose the 2k and click download it is going to download a exe just check check your download folder now it is downloading the exr so open it. Now you can see, you just need to move your mouse cursor here, right click, go to the download folder. It is at here, EXR. This EXR format can be used as a sky. And as demo, I'm going to just cut and paste on my desktop, make everything easy. All right, now it is already on my desktop, the EXR file. Then back to the blender. So move your mouse cursor to the corner here until you can see a, a little cross. Then you drag to separate it. Choose it from here. Go to the shader editor. Then under the object, you change it to word. Then scroll up so that you can see it clearly. Use your mouse middle button to drag it. So at here, under the color, you drag down drag out then type envi sorry environmental sorry environment texture this is called environment texture then put it here click open open from my desktop open the exr double click then you can see you already add a sky to your 3d animation scenes or 3d modeling scenes at the same time of the sky texture it is going to provide the image based lighting to your 3d object in your blender 4.0 and this is really easy you can get unlimited free skies from poly heavens from the hdri heavens it is about 700 free skies all of the license are in cc0 Let's say sometimes if you need to have some colorful skies like this, this is like the red color sky. You can just right click, open in a new tab. I'm going to show you another method that is the 8K tone map. So you click here, you can just download the JPG, the, the JPG 8K tone map, right click, open in a new tab. It is going to load the whole JPG file in 8K. Of course, you can just right click and save the image as an as demo. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I click save, then you can see this is exactly the sky's picture in 360 degree. All right, back to the blender. You can change it anytime. Just open it from the desktop. Open the, the desktop, the JPG file, double click it. Now you can see you already changed the sky and look at this. The whole sky is an image-based lighting. It is going to just shine the, 
the color of the skylight on your 3D object. It is really easy. So that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create a sky for your Blender 4.0. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!